one, two, one, two. What is up, everybody? It is your boy Freestyle Steve coming back with it again. And I'm just chilling out, doing my thing. I hope you guys are having a good day today. It is Saturday, December 5th. Where I'm at, it's like 11.15 a.m. You know, so let's see what time. 11.12 a.m. So that's what's good. I just thought I'd come back with another video for you. I know I haven't been doing many, I guess you could say, tech videos. I mean, I try to do game videos. It's, it's one of my things that I have here going on my channel. But I also got a lot of music, too. Which, of course, that is probably more dominant. But nevertheless, I've, I've got a few you know, new things to mess around with. As you can see from my last video, I picked up the PS5 word up so I'm glad I got that I'll definitely be trying to bring some videos of that and whatnot <coughs> sorry about that but today we are going to do somewhat of a test I would say or an experiment I don't I don't know if I want to call this a review um, hmm. I guess we could just call it a, a quick <laughs> experiment slash test maybe you know um, unofficial review not really serious review but I wanted to look at Luna so as you guys know Amazon has their um their streaming uh whatever you want to call it streaming gaming service or, or cloud gaming service I don't know what they're called nowadays and it, it's it's in that what, what would you call it is this um early access stage early access stage and it is available for PC, Mac, um, I think I, okay, PC, Mac, and Fire Stick, and you can do it on, on your web browser too, like Chrome or whatnot. So, um, you know, I, I wanted to try this. Of, of course, you know, generally speaking, I, I would probably do it on my, my gaming computer and whatnot until they release the proper Android version but what I'm using here if you guys can see which is one of my um, my main kind of setup is is I got the Nvidia Shield it's the Nvidia Shield Android TV the first one 2015 I believe with with the stock 16 gigabyte um, drive and I'm, I'm using that for you know I use it for GeForce now and game stream which you know the games you have to uh, have on your computer but once you have them on your computer you can use the game stream I, I don't know what you would call it game stream technology game stream um, protocol to stream those games to your shield so for me it works rather okay because you know I got everything on a ethernet connection so I, I'm not doing that uh, I'm doing it wired so I get I get decent um, decent input and whatnot but um, with that said let's go ahead and get into this you know I, I want to try not to go too long on this video my capture card it breaks up videos after 15 minutes but it, it, it's I don't know how it works I think it it depends on what you're recording with or what you use because it didn't for the PSP I went a little over the I mean sorry the PSP for the my last PS5 video I went a little over 15 minutes and it still captured it you know in, in one take usually generally with these um, Nvidia videos it will split it up after 15 minutes so you know I, I don't know how that works but um you know let's just go ahead and jump right in like I said we are going to do a quick um, Luna plus I thought I'd get into it, you know, kind of something new, and I put it on Game Stream. It, it's rather weird because I couldn't find it in my proper, um, you know, like my C program files, blah 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 directory. It was like in the app data roaming, so I don't. I'm, I'm hoping it'll work. Let's um, let's go ahead and give it a go, shall we? Word, you know. I tried it earlier and and it it like showed up and then the screen froze, so I don't know. But I'm, I'm hoping it'll... Okay, cool. So it's on my desktop now, but it doesn't seem to have load, which may not be too much of a problem. 
like I said, once again, this is, is kind of the game stream way of doing it, I believe. <coughs> I believe they have plans for a proper Android release, but I, I don't know if that'll, you know, be in the fact what the shield is. I don't know if that'll come to Android TV or not. I'm hoping it does. That would be pretty cool. But um, let's go ahead. Since we're on my desktop, I should be able to just, you know, go ahead and open it through here. I'm hoping. I'm hoping everything will work, you know? Okay. So. Okay, nice. There we go. And, you know, like I said, I'm using the N NVIDIA Shield, the game stream, game stream for it, because my, um, my computer I'm streaming for, it has a GTX 10. I always think it's a 1070. It's it's a 1060. It's a 1060, so it's got a 1060 in it, which is able to do that to the shield. So, you know, I, I stream to my shield because it's what's hooked up to the bigger TV where I'm at. Whereas on the other end of the room is where I have a desktop and and you know my monitor and that. So, so we are we are on now. So let's go ahead and um see how this bad boy works let's go to setting you know i probably have okay controllers it says generic controller so it, it's showing something i have which is cool which the the controller i use is a rather old controller it is um but it works great i i wanted to try a, another one of these to get one of these controllers but they're getting harder to come by now because they're they're older and, and they go for a little bit of money these um it's a pdp controller it's the PDP Rock Candy for Xbox 360 and then you know it says model number 037-010 and I, I've, I've had it for a long time I don't I remember if I got it new I, I, I thought I did I'm not sure though I may have got it second hand <coughs> but I've had it for quite a while and it's worked great you know and one thing that I, I like with it is it does work on the NVIDIA shield you know you put USB into the shield and it goes and then when I do game stream games you know from a my Windows 10 computer to my shield or any, any you know GeForce now anything it, it works fine it works great so I bought one of the newer ones which is the PDP rock candy for Xbox one and Windows 10 and, and you know it works on Windows 10 I don't have an Xbox one but it, it did not work on the shield. I was kind of bummed out, you know. I was like, oh, I couldn't, you know, plug it in and no game stream. It wouldn't even natively work on my shield. So it must have some kind of driver in it that is a little different from the older ones. So, you know, I still had a warranty for it and a return. So I returned it and I ended up getting the, um, you know, just an old classic that works kind of well. I got the, uh, what was it, the Logitech the Logitech um, F310 you know it's a little older one but it, it, it's it's kind of a tried and true and it, it's got that direct X um, X input and direct is it direct input so it's it, it allows you to use it on older systems as, as well as you know newer ones and it, it works on, on the uh, Nvidia shield and on my Windows 10 computer game stream and all that so that's cool that's definitely works good but the PDP still going strong so I use that but let's jump in let's go ahead and see so we are in what looks to be the Luna interface this is the settings looks like it um, came across my controller audio video I'll leave it there standard that, that's fine you know I can do standard um, looks like we got a tab on our left with our, our different sections here we can go to our home section this is the home section here. That was the one I tried earlier, but it, like I said, it didn't work at first. So. But it, it seems that we're on now because before it just like my desktop, like it, it just had like a translucent screen. It was weird. It like covered my apps and stuff and I just closed it down. But it looks like, so I just got Luna Plus, I believe. I, I'm not going to do the, you know, $15 a month for Ubisoft. And we'll see. It's it's five ninety nine now. I hope they stay. That would be nice if they stay at that, you know, and add more games over time, which you know could increase the price. I wouldn't mind that, but I don't want to do more than that. I'm down to do like Netflix, like eight ninety nine, and that that's about it. But um, so so this must be like okay, newly added right here. Those are the new ones. We can actually go to the library, library, and um, 
I played that one before. So we'll just go ahead and chew something. So we'll get back to our TV over there on the other side with the with our <clears throat> with our PDP rock candy and see what's up. Now loading. Okay, looks like we are on. Cool. Nice. Not bad, not bad. And like I said, I'm, I'm using a Ethernet connection, so it, it's fairly good. I had a, a real nice connection. I, I was getting close to about 800 mega, megabits or megabytes. I think it's megabits per second. But um, I had to get a expander and, and those expanders they, they kind of do cut your bandwidth a bit because I don't get that now I, I get about 400 but that's fine you know, I needed a stronger signal where I was at well not where I was at but in, in the place where I'm at I'm like downstairs and I got the router and the motor and that down here and they needed a stronger signal upstairs so we had to get an extender but nevertheless you know I mean, I still got probably well be of well above the minimum requirements to do stuff like this. But let's go ahead and see what's going on. Okay, that must have just been the intro. So now I'm saying press any button. Yeah, so it looks like my controller's working. Cool. As you've seen in the settings, it listed it as generic controller. It didn't say like PDP, raw candy, or whatnot. So that's that's cool. I kind of want to get to playing, just, you know, so I can see how everything is. I guess it's already playing. I'm not even really sure how to play this, I'm just, I'm going at it. Doesn't really seem like it's it, hey, at least I know my controller is working. <laughs> nice. So I'm wondering if I like wanted to change games, how I would do that. Let's see, okay. Well, I could press the start button here. I guess I could, you would quit game, all right? Go to really quit. Yes. Okay. So now I'm wondering if it would kick me back to the Luna interface. Oh, okay. It looks like it did. Um, it seemed to be all right. I mean, uh, so far for me, it, it seemed like it was working. My button presses were were working fine when I brought up the menu. Um, for now, I'm gonna say. Let's go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt for this one. Maybe it was too short. Too bad you can uh, skip it for now, right? Okay, <laughs> so there we go. Hmm, let's see. Something more. If this River City Girls is like River City Ransom, right? Then, uh, I mean, you should just go and smash. And those ones too, I think. Instead of like turn based, kind of like that was. Let's go ahead, let's do it. I tried it on, on my MacBook and it worked fine. It was kind of loud. That seemed real loud. I kind of came into my headphones. Maybe I'll turn it down a bit. But yeah, once I tried it on the Mac, it worked, you know, it worked fine. And of course, it's going to work on my computer.
One player. Okay. Normal. I like her. She's gonna carry a bat. Smack him out. So hopefully. Here. Looks like we've got some troublemakers in detention. You kids know what to do. <laughs> okay, it seems like, you know, my controller's working. X for quick attacks and Y for heavy attacks. Nice. repeatedly walk into them to grab the enemy. Get up. Well, it seems like everything's working good. Oh, man. Like my button pressing and stuff. Touch them. Sometimes the last enemy remaining will beg for their life. Touch them to grab the enemy and press left back. This boy up. I mean, if I could uh, escape class. Yeah, it says he can. No, I can. boyfriends and beat the life out of whoever took them good plan thanks i just came up with it whoa you are like crazy smart misako look for this icon when important markers are added to your map press to access your map when you see this icon it's kind of an interesting concept but i, I like this you know Amazon Luna, and like I said, I'm, I'm using this uh, PDP Rock Candy USB on, on my NVIDIA Shield, and it's working good. I'm, I'm probably sure even, uh, now I don't know if the uh, the native Shield controller would work, it may. I think anything that could probably hook up to the Shield that can give a connection to whatever in game stream could probably work, you know? I'm kind of curious what the whole... Uh, how the whole Luna controller is going to work. That's kind of interesting for $50. And, and I'm sure over time, they'll probably make it where you can use the Luna controller for, you know, other things as well. Like, I'm sure how they did with the with the PS5 controller, how they have an update now you can use it with Steam. So who knows? Maybe I'll get into that. Christmas present to myself, you know, get the Luna controller. Extra grab weapon. Cool. Oh. Good draft. 
tough. Uh, go back to class. You can't boot me up. Yeah, I can't hit her while she's on the ground. Let's see. Ah, oh, I tried to recruit her. It didn't work for some reason. I don't know what that was about. These ones are just ghosting. Huh? Whoops, you can't get in here yet. Come back later after finding a way to get inside locked doors, okay? We can go down there, or we can... Carry her trash can down there. Nice look. As far as lunch is vegetables and rice. Don't let those girls out of here. Yeah. Each time you level up your stats increase, you also unlock a little bit of new stats in the dojo. Nice. Well, Everything seems to be working fine. I mean, if, you know, it says press X to join, so we had another controller on there. We can have a two-player game. Now she can go outside. But I think I'm going to see if I can get out of here. So if I press start, map menu. The map menu shows your current location and your progress in after quest. Press A to expand the full world map. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure how to, uh, <laughs> how I get out of this one. I wonder who took Konio and Ricky. I wonder who sent us that text message. Yeah, huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. For what? To find out who sent us that text? Oh, yeah! It says, uh, Blocked Caller. That's a weird name. Damn it. Of course it would be blocked. Oh, you know him? Come on. <laughs> Oh, I can't figure out how to, uh, whatever city high. I can't figure out a way how to exit. <laughs> uh, let's beat it. Interesting, guys. So, I can't really figure out how to... Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's that's the... Uh, these are just... That's just menus I can go through, I guess. And I guess you could map your moves. Nice, yeah. Button mapping. Settings, right there. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and go to... Well, it seems to be working pretty good, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely happy with it. But, you know, it is coming from my computer, which is the same computer that I use for my game stream, obviously, with the GTX um, set up in there and for my GeForce. So it, it's working just like that. I didn't have any problems, you know. It, it seemed to recognize the uh, PDP Rock Candy Xbox 360 controller well. You know, it's another reason why I, I like this one because it does work with the shield, the shield itself natively in my game stream. So I kind of figured it would work with it. But, you know, most USB controllers should work with the shield, but some don't. Like like I said, I, I got the newer Rock Candy, not the um, Xbox 360 version, but the Xbox One Windows 10 version. And unfortunately, that didn't work with the Nvidia Shield out the box and even when I tried game stream and whatnot I couldn't get that working but um that's really all I wanted to do was just do a quick you know a quick little look play I guess you could say of this um Amazon Luna and it seems to be playing pretty good you know I I, I kinda like it I, I'm sure I got a lot of these games I mean you know I, I try to get <laughs> the free games I guess you could say Twitch was um 
came pretty abundant within the last year or two with with tons of free games and then the epic store and whatnot and just whatever's out there you know so i i may have some of these but i may not you know i may i don't know i don't keep track of <laughs> every game i have but um i definitely think it's it's a pretty nice thing they got going on here i'm, I'm really curious you know with this whole luna controller right now what what makes it cool is is you know it is a a bluetooth wireless controller I, I haven't looked at it i don't know if it has any kind of like usb port or anything like that for charging or if it takes batteries or, or I, I don't know what it is i, I want to look at it though you know and it, and you know get it for possibly to use with this it, it may work very well seems like it'd be a cool setup you know you could use it on your laptop probably your your phone your your tablet I'm wondering if they come out with the version for Android if it'll be directly on my shield which will be nice you know then I won't actually have to go through the game stream way like I like I'm doing now for this that would be really cool hopefully they can get that out for Android and it won't just be for the Android platform it'll it'll also be here on on my shield Android TV so I would definitely take advantage of that that would be cool and on top of that I'm kind of interested in what the Luna controller is of course I'm pretty sure you can use it for any way that you choose to use Luna whether you want to use it on your computer your, your Windows computer your Mac what it says um, for iOS Android and, and I'm hoping I don't know if it's for iOS or Android yet. I, I think it is, but I'm I'm do hoping they make the Android TV version so I, I could just directly play it from my shield. You know, hook up my controller and not have to go through um, game stream. But it, it seems to be working fine. I kind of figured it, it'd work okay. You know, I have, I have a fairly decent setup here. Um, the library doesn't seem too too bad I mean it, it only seems like there's about 40 maybe 50 games I don't know let's see let's let's count them 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 59 games I don't know and a lot of these I, I have seen or I may even have like I, I know I think I have that I think I have the ukulele. I don't know if I have that one. I know I have that one. They put that one out for free at a couple places, and it was pretty cheap too. Um, I think I have these Steam Worlds. I just ended up buying those. I know I have some of those Shantae's. That one was free a while ago. Um, this one at River City Girls. I don't think I have that one yet. I know I have one of those. Um. <coughs> This one I don't have. Iconoclast, I think I have that. So I know I have some of these. I definitely don't have that. And the other ones I don't think I have. This, for a while, when um when GeForce Now had their early access phase, that was one of the games that was included. So I played through a little of that. And then once they went out of their early access phase, it was still there for a while, but at some point they removed it so that's not there anymore and as for the others I believe I have this one too and I may have that one so I have a few of them but you know hopefully they'll get new ones or, or maybe every few months switch the rotation up with newer ones or one that ain't on there but you know not bad not bad I'm gonna have to say if, if they can add to this library expand it a little bit I mean I mean I'm not sure how much more they're willing to expand it and just keep this base point at 599 and offer the other other price points for the other tiers I, I think it, it could kick off you know because you, you can do it in different ways you can use it on your laptop on your desktop on your phone if, if you're into mobile gaming like that um, if, if you kinda got a setup like I do where I have a bigger TV as my main TV and and the shield is hooked up to that and then in the corner I have you know a what you could say a gaming rig with of course with with a Nvidia shield graphics card I'm I'm sorry Nvidia shield and an Nvidia um 
GTX graphics card and you know with, with the whole game stream and GeForce technologies between I guess you could say the two if I'm making sense you know between the shield and my um, graphics card and my computer I definitely make good use of that you know and, and you can kind of do it like I am to, to get it if you have a shield you know to get it to play on your shield game stream it and it'll work I'm, I'm hoping though hopefully like I mentioned they do release a proper Android version that does make it to the for the Android TV then that would be cool where you know you could just sign in with your uh, Amazon account and just have this phone direct on the shield and that would be pretty awesome but if, if they can stay at this um, 599 point you know for just just for good just like Hulu or, or whatever you know just stay here and, and just offer the other price points I, I would definitely willing to probably be to go with this for a while you know I'm, I'm gonna try it maybe for a, a month or two or three just after the initial phase you know hopefully like I said if, if they stay at the 599 if it you know goes up to like 1299 or something I'll probably cancel I can see myself probably doing maybe maybe 799 you know no more than 899 like Netflix remember what was Netflix wasn't it 599 at first and then they went up 699 now they're like 899 so, but I, I I like the 599 price point that that's you know kind of doable but I'm um, all right it's your boy F4 double I am going to clock out I, I hope this video was rather interesting I do want to come back with some more game slash you know different kind of technical I don't know if you want to say technical but you know tech related videos I thought this was kinda of cool just just the way you know I, I'm actually doing this as as I am using the as you see at the beginning of the video I, I jump into this uh, Luna through my shield so you know there is a, a barrier of there could be you know a different layer of little bit of latency or delay there but I, I didn't notice much and I'm on a pretty direct Ethernet connection, you know, so it, it's it's rather okay. Whereas, you know, doing this directly on, on my my gaming computer, or if they do release a, a proper version for Android that'll end up on the Android TV, that'll be awesome. But I, I can still rock it, you know, I can still have fun and, and just well we'll see where we go with this. But um alright, it's F R Double E. I'm gonna clock out. And as always, um Feel free to sub, like, share, comment, and stay tuned for more tech, music, and games coming at you. Like I said, I'm going to try to do more game and tech-related content if I can. I mean, mainly for the most part, my page, you know, I'll drop tracks from my... Fr mainly it's just Nameless and Freestyles from me and Two-Tone, but hopefully I can get some mu new music from the homies and whatnot. But I, I do want to try to incorporate this stuff, too, because I know... You know, I, I probably have some subscribers that came came through to my channel from just some of the past videos that are, I guess you could say, tech-related, game-related videos and whatnot. Where I tried, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I may not be the best, but I try. Hey, and that's um, that's all I can do. But all right, your boy F R W E. I'm clocking out. You guys have a good one. Peace.